here. I want to get your thoughts on what has been a really impressive three-game stretch here in the Horizon League tournament. Got yourself set up knocking on the door. That's what you came to Detroit for, to bring the Titans to the tournament. What's going through your mind as you get set for Valpo on Tuesday night? You know what, Tom? One of, uh, of uh, excitement. Uh, my post-game comments last night were that uh, we had the happiest locker room in America. And uh, our young guys really competed and have competed through this three games to, to have the opportunity to play for uh, those four letter words uh, NCAA that we're so, uh, so primed for. What do you think has been the key to your team's success through this stretch, winning the game at home against Loyola the other night and then going on the road and getting these two wins at Valpo in the tournament here? Well, Tom, I think when you look at the start of our season, our second game was at Notre Dame. We had Mississippi State at home, St. John's uh, at home, playing to Alabama, uh, going to Butler, uh, you know, playing them twice, beating them twice. I think playing all those opponents tough and winning some of them has given us nothing but confidence as we've gone through the course of the season. Uh, home or away, it doesn't matter. We've been very, very consistent in our effort and our approach, and uh, we've learned from the close losses. And uh, what we've done down the stretch is find a way to win games. These two games that were just played at Valpo over this past weekend, Friday and Saturday, your son Ray stepped up pretty large, 22 in one game, 26 in the other. What do you say to him in terms of asserting himself, and how important is that for him to do so for the Titans to win basketball games? Well, I tell you, it's about guard play. It starts at the point of attack on the defensive end, and he's really uh, he's been committed to uh, defense. Uh, the thing I like uh, that he's done in the last couple games, he's, he's really played as he, with a lot of emotion. He's been a vocal leader, and he has really gotten his teammates involved and really taken over down the stretch, whether it's uh, getting a big rebound or, 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 or getting an assist or making a three or closing out games, making free throws. Um, you know, he's doing what he's been uh, coached to do, Tom. I like that, by the way. Just like Dad <laughs> tells him to do. <laughs> you face a team on Tuesday night that's going to get you on their home court, a team that's got a lot of experience winning these types of games under these circumstances. What do you think of this Valpo team, and what might it take to pull off the upset? Tom, they're, they're, they're good. They're a very good team. They have balance uh, with uh, strong inside play, uh, strong perimeter shooting. Uh, they have an unbelievable environment. Uh, they have tremendous support. Uh, by the uh, by, the Valparaiso uh, community. Uh, so we, we're going to have to play with poise and composure. We were here uh, about three or four weeks ago, and uh, we had a 10-point lead. Uh, we know the crowd is going to really support them when they need it. We've got to play with poise and composure, and we've got to get uh, an inside game established. Uh, I think we can get an inside game established. Uh, that will really help open it up for us on the perimeter. Well, I have witnessed a team that really seems to be coming together at the right time. you got a lot of guys contributing. I think Anderson may have given you more than what you expected out of him. Holman really hit his stride after sitting out some games. you got Kalise and Simon really stepping up for you. Ray's doing his thing. I think the team's well-positioned, and we wish you nothing but luck on Tuesday night. Tom, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Coach, for a couple minutes.